Now the next question is also related to terms related to biotechnology. As with the common trend, right? Traditionally also questions have been asked on biotechnology, two to three questions. Even this year paper has two questions from biotechnology, particularly related to terms related to biotechnology, right? Another term that the question is focusing on is microsatellite DNA, right? Where have you heard this term? If you know anything about the G D DNA fingerprinting, okay, F DNA fingerprinting, see, genomics or the reading the code of life includes a number of things, okay. One is reading letter by letter, another is basically seeing a pattern in a genome. Now, looking at a pattern, we can identify few specific characteristics related to an individual within a species or between two species. Okay, that's number one. So, this study of variations in the genome, variations means what? The patterns, I am talking about the patterns in a genome, I am trying to identify. If there are variations in that pattern, it acts as an identity marker of a certain species, right? And what are the different types of variations that exist on a DNA or, or, or on a genome, okay? One of, one of the variations we see is what? A microsatellite. Okay, a microsatellite, which is basically the basic, basic principle behind which DNA fingerprinting is done. DNA fingerprinting is something that you all have heard of. Okay, what does DNA fingerprinting do? It identifies an individual within a species. That is the reason DNA fingerprinting is used to basically identify. Okay, it is basically used to identify a criminal. Okay, by, 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 by pick, picking up the genome uh, uh, traces uh, in, in the crime site or also to establish parentage. Okay, so this DNA fingerprinting, the basic is the basics behind this DNA fingerprinting is what? Now, there are certain patterns in your genome. Okay, there are certain patterns in your genome. If I consider your genome to be a book, right? A, T, C, C, G, A, so on and so forth. Your genome is simply a book of made of these four letters, right? As opposed to a 26 letter book that you conventionally read. A genome is a, is a book made up of four letters. Now, let us say there is some pattern ATCC is repeating number of times in a genome. Number of times in a genome, of course, after some gaps, okay? ATCC. It's like having a word mango repeated on a page. In, in, in a book that you are reading. That's about it. Okay. Likewise, we have multiple and, and these, these patterns are called as what? Short tandem repeats. As the name suggests, it is only a repeating sequence. A repeating sequence. This repeating sequence is unique. The number of times this ATCC is repeating or the number of times the word mango is repeating in your genome. Okay. In your genome, is a unique identifier of an individual. Okay. What do I mean by this? If you see this ATCC pattern or any other word, any other sequence, any other sequence, the number of times that sequence is repeating is unique to an individual. It could be for me, it could be about five times. For another person, it could be seven times. For another person, it could be eight times. Okay. Likewise, there are number of patterns, number of pattern, uh, patterns that are basically repeated variable number of times. That's why this is called as variable number of tandem repeats. Now, this pattern or this short sequences are called as microsatellites. That's number one. Okay. Now, how is it related to the question that we are talking about? Okay. Microsatellite DNA is used in which of the following cases? Okay. Now, microsatellites or the patterns that are repeating is not only is not only unique, is not only useful in identifying individual within a species, within a species, that's number one. Okay. Within a species, this is what you do in what? DNA fingerprinting. You can also see these patterns these patterns, okay, these patterns in closely related species, in closely related species. These are different species, but closely related species, not 
those species that are unrelated okay that that are unrelated what are closely related species closely related species okay will have the same evolutionary okay evolutionary line or evolutionary time scale right you understand or not okay so this is this is basically related to what also also related to micro satellites also related to what closely related species now let us look at the options option a talks about studying the evolutionary relationships about uh, among various species of fauna okay so in order to understand the evolutionary relationship between species if you know anything about the evolutions evolution right you you know that a species has a common ancestor a common ancestor okay and from there the common ancestor basically we all share the dna of a common ancestor or species closely related species basically share the dna of a common ancestor and that part okay and 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 the variations where can you see the variations okay in these short tandem repeats or micro satellite therefore it is related to what evolutionary relationships so if you knew that micro satellite dna is number one a pattern of sequence a pattern that you can see in the genome okay and that pattern is basically used in dna fingerprinting which you must have definitely heard about okay it is not only those patterns are seen in what individuals within a species but those patterns are also seen what in closely related species it's an extension of your uh, uh, knowledge that you already have if you uh, okay and that is why if you if you, if you knew anything about micro satellite which is related to what dna fingerprinting you would be able to answer this question we'll see other options if we can eliminate this Stim stimulating stem cells to transform into dry, diverse functional tissues okay what do you mean by this junk option right junk option right this is basically what tissue engineering okay promoting clonal propagation of horticulture plants absolutely okay not this is clonal propagation this is what vegetative propagation okay or reproductive cloning in other words assessing the efficacy of drugs by conducting series of drug trials in a population genomics is useful in order to do this but it is not okay you cannot do anything by looking at the patterns which is what micro satellite dna is all about therefore a is the right option for this question thank you